we present Waveform, a suite of in-air gestures based on common multi-touch interaction techniques that allow video jockeys to manipulate live video on a remote display. Using a motion capture system, we allow VJs to perform in-air multi-touch gestures based on markers placed on the hands and nose bridge of the user. A touchscreen tablet, such as an iPad, serves as a video content palette. By selecting a video and flicking it towards the display, the user brings the desired video to the remote display. Our in-air gestures are based on two remote touch events, which we call squeeze and breach. To perform the squeeze gesture, the user points at the display using his index finger and clenches his middle, ring, and little finger. Squeezing produces a touch down event and releasing generates a touch up event. To perform the breach gesture, the user points at the target using his index finger and moves his hand towards the screen. When the index breaches a distance threshold, a touch event is generated. A combination of these two touch events and other in-air actions allow for common video effects used by VJs when performing mashups. By performing a breach gesture with the dominant hand, the VJ can translate a video object on a large display. Rotate and scale are bi-manual gestures in which the VJ uses a breach gesture while pointing at the video object. First, the video object is selected by moving both hands through the breach threshold. Moving one or both hands in a circular path then causes the video object to rotate on the screen. The video scales down when the user moves their hand closer together. The VJ can also adjust the transparency of a video. First, the VJ selects the video by performing a squeeze gesture with their dominant hand. By moving their non-dominant hand towards the display, the selected video object's transparency is decreased. By moving the hand towards the user, the transparency increases. The VJ can adjust the video mix by transposing the order of the videos. The VJ starts by performing a squeeze gesture with their non-dominant hand. The video is selected according to the depth of their non-dominant hand. By moving the non-dominant hand forwards and backwards, the VJ can position the video object. The VJ can also scratch through the video content of the objects on the display. To begin, the VJ selects the video with a breach gesture using the non-dominant hand. Within the same plane of the display, moving the dominant hand in a circular motion scratches through the video. Clockwise rotation moves the video forwards, while counterclockwise motion moves the video in reverse.